Now, I'm going to tell the girls a story. I'm not scary. No, it's not scary. It's about Ellen. Remember the time she played a trick on me? Yeah, yeah. You can be, be, baby, be, 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 be. Do you want to hear the story or not? No. Right. I'm going to start a story about Ellen, the time she played a trick on me and how I got her back. I know you found it, okay? No, okay. Now mm-hmm. listen. Here's a story about Ellen, the time she played a trick on me and how I got her back. Now, I told her this the other night now because it was a... Oh, this is all true. And uh, years ago, when I got me first or second car, Ellen played tricks on me. Do you know what she did? She got stinking old stockings and runners and hid them underneath my car, under the seat. And she got old cheese and ham and stuff like that and put them in. And I could never understand how my car was smelly and I cleaned it and cleaned it. And one day I looked right under my seat and I found a big pile of yuck and goo. And I was disgusting and I had to clean it out. And I was. I said, yeah, I said at home, Nanny, who did that? And Ellen started to laugh. And I said, you did that? And she goes, yeah, yeah I did it. That was very funny because you're so... Because I used to look after my car and I used to always wash it and clean it and keep it really looking. Ellen was jealous. She was kind of jealous. Now, she got a car then, you see, and I said I'd get her back, but I didn't really tell her I'd get her back. And one day she had an NCT. I forget what a car. What an NCT? It means you have to bring a car to a garage to get a check to see if it's okay to be no, safe on the road. Is it a car normal? Just a normal car, like the car she has now. And she was out in Nanny's, and I was out in Nanny's anyway, and we were, uh, she said, oh, my NCT's at one o'clock. And I said, all right. And I said, I'm going to clean it here now, because Nanny had a proper hose to clean it. So she was, I said, should I give you a hand? And she goes, okay, then. So I went up anyway and I started cleaning with her anyway. Um, we got it all clean and spotless and got the seatbelts and all strapped in and all that kind of, all the stuff to get looking good. And she goes, right, so that, you, you should be, should be, good, should pass it. I said, yeah, hopefully, I mean, it's a good car. It's better than yours. I said, yeah, yeah, it's a good car you have. And uh, she said, I just got to kind it before I go. But so I she, think your car actually the nicest. Yeah, no. She said she'd go into the toilet. Now, I saw an opportunity there because I used to remember Nanny has loads of cats out there, didn't she? 14, For 14, yeah. And they, all the cats, they're all a bit gimpy looking. They've all got wonky eyes or scabby ears or old shitty tails. They're all the cats, right? Like so they're not a kitten. Yeah, they're all a bit skinny as well. Like Ozo. Yeah. You know, know when he was a baby, he was cute enough. But when he grew up... Yeah, they're always a bit scary, right? But not a baby kitty. Yeah. So anyway, listen, Ellen went in and she didn't go for a piss before I got to the NCT. And I had me, um, I just went in great quick and I grabbed some ham out of the fridge. And I opened up the boot and I held the ham, ham out and every fucking cat smelt it. And they literally, they jumped after the ham. I threw it into the boot. What did the cats do? Eat it. Jump. <laughs> 14 of them jumped into the boat, right? And they fighted. Oh, they were fighting. They were getting cranky. And, and anyway, I closed on the boat real quick and I could hear him making noise. I could hear Ellen flushing the toilet. So I went and I started the engine. Uh, right? And she goes, uh, she came out and she goes, uh, what did you do to start the engine? I said, I was only starting to see how it starts. It starts well, doesn't it? She goes, yeah, it's a good car. And I said, well, she you relate for an escorty? I will. So she went to the car and put her seatbelt on, click, click, and drove on and Turned the radio on and she was driving all the way to the car. She did, 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 didn't hear a thing, right? Pull up in the NCT centre, got out, walked in the way and uh, met up to your man and goes, uh, car there for a test for one o'clock. And you're like, hey, no bother, give me the keys, thanks a million. So she paid him, your man went off anyway, got the car, started it and drove it in. And you know in the NCT, you can look out the window there, mm-hmm. right? And your man went anyway and he was doing all these checks. He was checking the wheels and he was checking the lights were working. He's done everything. He was coming to the last part of the test Ellen was looking out anyway. And he decided he had to open the boot to check see if it was a spare wheel okay. So he opened the boot and the second he opened the boot, about fourteen or fifteen why I mean wild cats, they just fucking jumped out and two or three of them literally grabbed onto his face like that and grabbed onto his hair. And the rest of them ran around and everyone, he started screaming, he fell over and he fell over and tripped over into the ground and all the rest of the lads came running over and there was horns beeping and your man pulled the cat off his face 
and you could see Ellen's face go, <gasps> and she thought, Mick, you fucker, you. Yeah. You fuck, he did this to me. So your man came in anyway, and he went mental with her. And uh, basically, uh, so many cats said, right, well, they had tried to catch so many cats, but actually so many cats escaped and they never got back again. But your man failed to run the test anyway. Oh, Mammy, tired. Uh, no, because she wanted to get rid of them anyway, because they're all dying old yucks. And you go around in the scar, but he's still... But what they went out, but when... She got the good no, she got the good ones back because we're all those yokes. But if you go around the mark now in Escorty and around there where the NCT centre is, you'll still see so many cats. One of them looks like Coco and there's a big red lad that looks like um I can't remember his name now. Spud? Spud, yeah, one lad looks like Spud. And they're they're there still to this day and uh they're still wild, but they'll come up to you if you call them, it'll come up to you. But Ellen was queer, queer cranky with me for doing that to her. Because I don't see, I see a camera and I see a man with a stick. But I see the um, ones that escaped, they're gone all... Ugh. Yeah, maybe you think people could have took them in and looked after them. Oh, somebody... Oh, somebody found them out. Oh, some people found them and yeah. then keep them. Keep them and clean them and got them right here. Yeah. yeah, that was good for him. Um, but Ellen, every time now, you ever notice one thing when Ellen leaves our house? She always checks the boot. Watch Ellen the next time she's leaving our house. Just see what she does. She always goes out and opens the boot and looks in. Because she's always afraid it's going to be a cat now. That's the truth. That's the true story though. Do you thought you were going to tell me story after the story? After the story. Okay, I'll see.